Hello everybody, I hope you're all okay. So we're in the caravan that we was in before at Reeton Sand. So this is Oakwood 72 boiler. Most of these boilers are the same. This is a Victor one and we're gonna have a look at it. Now this caravan does not have a boost button that most caravans do. So I'm gonna show you how this one works. So read this this is going to help you out a lot and then i'm going to show you down what is everything else everything so this will help you out and everything so you've got a 15 minute segment so that means it's on like every like 15 minutes to the hour by the look of it so someone else can explain that better to me because it all changes in each caravan so when we go down, you have your water. Do test how your water is, uh, especially in the shower. It's always a nightmare. So this tends I to have to be, a yeah, mom's been better a couple of times. So this has to be, tend to be on 60 for us. Uh, then eco for your radiators. But when it's on the night time, we do turn it a bit more up. And then we have it on hot water and radiators. Now, this is the part where everyone is getting confused. So I'm gonna come down onto the floor and show you. So, right now, we have it like this. The on up here is the times that the radiators are gonna be on from. So from, technically from four till 11, uh, we're gonna have it on maybe a bit, a bit later. It just depends when we're in the caravan. And then it's off from 11 right to 6 o'clock because Grace sometimes gets early. And then it's on from 6 till 10 because we'll be going out just before 10 to the club to do the shows. Now, this part here is telling you the time you're on. For some reason, the last person who was in this hasn't use the radiator so it is what time is it someone please nearly five o'clock so i always just put it a little bit more in front so we are ready and there we go so it's on a timer so the radiators will come on the timer for us but if we want to we can just flip and it will be permanently on throughout but again you do have that one segment 15 minutes so i'm sorry i am um, that bit is a bit confusing come on every 15 minutes, yeah i think it'll come on every 15 minutes then if you're having issues keep an eye on this and if you're out of hours like after six contact security and security can come and help you out now most caravans have a boost button they normally have a boost button somewhere in the kitchen living room or bedrooms now this caravan hasn't um because we were like where's the boost button where we were last here uh, this is because it's a brand new caravan um so there's no such thing as a boost button when you do have a boost button and you're on the timer and you're a little bit cold just press it and it should come on automatically but again most caravans are different some will do the boost button okay others won't so it's very very complicated when you're in a caravan in the spring winter time doing the radiators but i would recommend having the radiators on throughout winter and spring and autumn time uh, in the morning and in the night time because it will keep the caravan much warm because remember they're really really thin thin walls so and we're having a lot of wind right now and wind's howling through the main door so we're gonna need to like try and keep warm and everything it, it really just depends if your windows are always like like wind actual window thickness it, you just have to see how warm you want the radiators now when you are having the radiators make sure you check 
that the radiators are turned on and that is just down here at the bottom if i could just show you right here hopefully the camera is i'm falling off the bed here people yeah now this is really really hot and i mean really really hot <laughs> but down here it will tell you everything now like i said i'm falling off the bed here and there isn't much of a gap for me to get down and i don't think even gary can get down this part i'm just gonna try and just try and not oh there we go ah! it's hot it's hot it's hot now <laughs> i can't tell whereabouts this is meant to be okay well <laughs> sorry people hang on okay now i can't tell where this is gonna be because i can't see an arrow aiming up anywhere so you're gonna have to fiddle around with these basically this is the first thing you should do after packing it and when you're in the winter and springtime if play autumn time as well is to play around with these <laughs> to get it right just make sure your hair radiators are high up and then work out from here but i believe this one is on on a two or a three i am really trying to see where it all is now before I bear my leg. Yes, it is sunny, but it's very, very windy. Oh. So you're gonna have to check check all of them. Um because yeah, that one's up. Because when we were here last time, the Grace's bedroom wasn't fully fully working. By the way, I'll give you a tour of the caravan properly shortly. Yeah, that one's working but we'll have to cover it up because it's very low and i think that one i haven't got any kind of cover on and this one's not on so this one will help us out a lot more so just give me a sec yeah try not to have it on because of grace okay there we go people there we go that will help us so let's turn it on to free for now just to keep it nice and warm and we do have another one down here, so I'll sort that one out. And we do have the fireplace. So I do hope all this helps you all. Um, like I said, they are very confusing the caravans when it comes to the boilers, but you should have a book somewhere. Ours is a, nope, it's not in the bottom drawer, but it should normally be. So read around uh, for it. Could be, yeah, could be in the, could be all up there. Um, but yeah, so this, like I said, this is a Victor one, um, uh, Morocco series three. So you're just going to generally just see how you go. I'm trying to find the book to help everyone. Um, so hopefully that helps you all and take care. Goodbye.